What is up everyone? Today, we're here to talk about Dunkin' Donuts vs. Disney World. Many of you know me, know that I've been working at Disney World from January 26th to May 15th. I worked as an outdoor vendor at Hollywood Studios, pretty much like, you know, selling food, working at Fantasmic, Vending stuff, selling beer, selling popcorn, selling hot dogs, selling Mickey bars. After I did the Disney College program, I got back from to Staten Island, quit, well, I wasn't working at McDonald's anymore, and I worked at Dunkin' Donuts, as you can see. And I worked at Dunkin' Donuts from, I believe what, July something till today. Working at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, is a little different from working at Disney World. Working at Dunkin' Donuts, you, um, you're only in one location, an interior one location, for nine hours, if you get a lot of hours. So I work per nine hours a day, and I only, now, currently, I only work like twice a week, and it's not good. So Dunkin' Donuts is very, um, not... They don't give you a lot of hours. Dunkin' Donuts doesn't give you a lot of hours. They are very business. Fo they're very focused on their business, and they're not going to put another uh, employee to work if they don't need it. Working at Dunkin' Donuts, pro-wise, I'm I can drink as much coffee as I want. Um, I it's right next to my house. I don't even have to really drive there. It's very flexible. It's very easy. I get tips, I'm allowed to take tips, and it's really, really cool. Um, the people that I work with don't necessarily speak like you and I do. They have, I'm trying to word it right, their communication with people like us is not as great as the people that I work with in Disney World. So, some of them, I believe, didn't graduate college, are not from, weren't born in the United States. And 95% 95, 95 of the people that work at my current Dunkin' Donuts are, were not born from the United States. Or they were born in the United States and they, um, they don't really, Trying to get it right. I'm trying to say it right. They don't necessarily have the English language pretty much like set in stone. Like we know English very well, they don't really know English very well. They're not used to being here for the way you know what I um they don't give you hours and the people that you work with are not the people that y you would hang out with after work. Let's say that. That makes more sense. Uh, as an outdoor vendor, your responsibility is usually um, solo in some of the carts that you work at. You have to, um, you, you get dressed up the same, you have to wear pants, you have to wear a Gatsby hat, sometimes you can wear a straw hat, maybe once in a while you can wear a, a uh, kind of like a baseball cap, in a matter of speaking, you can wear something like that. So. It's a little, like, when you work at Dunkin' Donuts, you can just wear jeans and something like this one. Dunkin' Donuts is that they give away hours, like, like, they're really fast, fate. they, everyone gives up hours within a matter of seconds. Like, nobody really wants to, to work, they want to work, but they don't want to work six days, seven days, five days, they, so people give away hours really quickly, so that's, if you're someone that wants money, and you really want to work, there you go. So there's that. Um, pros of working at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> pros at working at Disney World is that you get a lot of perks. Um, some of the perks that you get is discounts. I believe at one point we had like a 25% discount. The second thing we got was we were able to go to the parks for free. Um, third thing we were able to pa park at the parks for free. Um, what else? Oh, they had a lot of cool events. That were going on, that we and as cast members, we were we were able to go there for free, as well, and it's really cool, and it's a lot different than the Donuts because when you're working at Dunkin' Donuts, they're not 95% of the people that I work with are not like you and I. Where so in Disney World, 
you know, everyone, you can be friends with pretty much anyone. The cons for working at Disney World, and more specifically outdoor vending, is that it's very hot outside. So it's since it's Florida, and it's only Florida and California, you are sweating a lot. When you're working as an outdoor vendor, you're working at the carts by yourself, and when you're working by yourself, it can get really, really boring. Like, if you're someone that gets bored very easily, then that's usually what's going to happen when you're working at outdoor vendor. When you're working as an outdoor vendor, I was, oh, maybe if you have somebody on a cart with you too, it could be entertaining. But maybe you work too. You have to work a lot. They usually, what they do when you're an outdoor vendor is they put you on a cart. You have to bring the cart back. You have to give them the money. You have to um, count your stock, restock, give the guy your slip, punch out and you get to go home. Okay, so if I have to choose between working at Dunkin' Donuts where I get tips and it's an interior place to work at where there's people, but the people, however, are not, can't communicate the way you and I will, versus Disney World where it's really hot outside, you sweat a lot, but the people that you meet there are pretty much your friends, and there's more perks, I would have to choose Disney World. Uh, it's, I get, personally, I just get bored very easily, and Disney World, where I work at, never bores me, even when I'm working outside. Um, when I'm working at the carts, there's lots of things that are pretty entertaining around me. When you're working at Star Combo, which is one of the carts at Backland, um, you, watch, you can watch the show, the Jedi Academy show, which is pretty, pretty cool, while you're working, and... You may maybe not supposed to do that, but sometimes I like watching them, and it's pretty cool. And you get to go backstage too, which is also cool. So that's what my that's my opinion. Dunkin' Donuts versus Disney World. I would have to say Disney World wins for that one. So hopefully you guys like this video. I'm gonna be making another video called "What You Should Know About Staten Island." And if, you know, if, if you've never been to Staten Island, you're going to want to watch this video because there's lots of things you won't know about it. And if you want to visit, then these are some things you should know. So that's really, really, really good. So hopefully you guys are having a great holiday. Happy New Year 2016. Here we go. And to everyone <coughs> that's still in college, good luck. And hopefully you guys can have a cool, you know, cool year. So later. Later, guys.